Hey everyone, well I've picked up a uh, new gun today, well not today, that's a lie, um, I picked it up a couple weeks ago, but I'm showing it to you today, and that is the Ruger GP100, the 6 inch barrel, stainless steel, um, yeah, so I wanted a uh, 357 revolver, and this is what I landed on. Kind of wanted a Smith 686, but I wasn't looking to spend that much, especially on a gun that's going to be primarily just a range, range gun, possible home defense. I, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of have it sitting in my safe. But anyway, so uh, first things first. You know. Oh, look at that. Anyway. Okay, so. This is, like I said, the GP100. Six rounds. 357 Magnum. Um, from what I heard, this is one, you know, one sturdy revolver. Uh, you don't get much more tough than the GP100. And that's, that's another reason why... I opted for the GP100 in case I wanted to shoot some crazy hand loads or something. Um, I do like the design here, how it kind of thicker barrel, with this underlug here. I think that looks cool. I think it's a pretty cool design. I, I really like the looks of this pistol or revolver. Sorry. Um, yeah. So to release the cylinder, the push button. Unlike the Smiths and the Colts, they have the slide forward or slide back, depending on which one you got. Um, you got your ejector rod. It does come with the hammer, or it does have a hammer bar. So if you release the hammer, it doesn't, you know, it's not going to shoot off. So anyway, so you can see that uh, the grip's a Hogue grip, and actually I, I I like it quite a bit. It's a uh, it's got a very nice feel to it. Um, weight it's a it's a big revolver. I'm not even gonna get into the weight. It's just you're in for what you're in for. It's it's not gonna be a carry gun. It's gonna be home defense, range gun, whatever you want to do with it. But concealed carry or anything like that, maybe a truck gun. That's if if I decide to put this on a, on a, on my permit, then I'd probably keep it in my in my truck or something. Maybe that's what I'd do with it. But other than that, in the range, it's probably a good idea for it. Anyway, I've taken it out, put a hundred rounds through it uh, last weekend, and uh, it, it it shoots great with especially with thirty eight. I, I only had access to thirty eight specials. At the at this time, shot 100 rounds of 38 special through it, and this thing doesn't. The recoil is very, very, very little with 38 special. Obviously, 357 is gonna be a lot more, but with 38 special, I mean, this thing's a blast to shoot. It's very pleasant. I mean, you put some 38 special in there, anybody could shoot it. Um, whether you know, it, it's an intimidating looking revolver, but the weight really controls helps control the recoil so you know that's uh that's an upside to the to the weight of this gun so anyway i'll show you what what else it came with um these are uh critical defense uh 38 special plus piece that i have in here um that is what I just have loaded in here. I've got a speed loader. Uh, it works okay. I'm going to play around with some other ones. See, uh, I think the Safari Land ones I've heard were pretty good. So, speed loaders are kind of fun to play with. You know, get good at them. It might be, might be pretty interesting to, you know, you know speed loader. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Oh. Okay. Anyway, but a, this is a, just a Jeep Uncle Mike's holster. Um, size 3. Fits pretty well. I mean, anyway, there we go. So this is the holster. I, I leave it in. Size 3. It's an out. It's not a concealed carry holster. It's just a at the waist holster and it's got a snap button but right there okay um crap so i might have mentioned before this does have a uh, adjustable sights so it's got a uh, windage adjustment I have elevation adjustment too. I think it has elevation adjustment. Anyway, and the sight, to remove this sight, there's just a little push pin in there. You take something, you push it out, pop the sight out, and you can put whatever you put, scope scope rails, if that's what you want to do, things like that. There's a lot of aftermarket sights. I might change this, these sights out to, uh, to some uh, dot sights or... Uh, Maybe I'll just end up painting the end of this. There are a lot of people paint it. Might paint it green or red or something like that. Orange. Anyway, let me show you what's in the box. So it comes with it. Um, here's a plastic bag it came with. Comes with a lock. This is pretty neat. Comes with the the test cartridge. Test cartridge, 357 Magnum, and your instruction manual. If you know, for some odd reason you, you don't know how to operate a revolver, there's an instruction manual. I would assume you probably would know, but. You know what happens when you assume. You get. Oh, I didn't. Uh, save twenty percent on Ruger. Okay, we get coupon. Uh, another flyer. Comes with a sticker, Ruger sticker too, but I already used it. Um, NRA. I'm already a member of the NRA. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what comes in the box. But, um, I just made a huge mess. Get that stuff back in there. So, yeah, this is kind of a, it's a video showing you GP100. Um, God, I really, if I had a more available, uh, if I had a more available schedule, I'd love to oh, set up some stuff so I can do some videos. I have a lot of guns I could do some videos on, uh, especially some shooting videos, but I haven't, uh, haven't had the time or the money right now. Too many projects and cars and crap going on and my working on my trucks. Too much money going out, not enough coming in. I shouldn't be buying guns right now, but... Anyway, sorry I got sidetracked, but Ruger GP100, awesome revolver.